Wrestlers, please clear the mat. We start with Jacason Burks. As a freshman in 2022, the Reber 125 pounder took down the competition all the way to the national finals. Now Burks, one of three returning All-Americans, that includes Fabian Padilla at 157 and Grant Lyman at 174, continues to roll up back points and is unbeaten, ranked number one in the nation. We're gonna have a continual uh, competition, specifically at, at some, some weights more, more than others. You know, I think, you know, those three guys that I mentioned already are, are set. They're a hardworking group. They're a coachable group. Uh, I know going into any of those duels that I'm not real worried about it because I know we're going to get maximum effort. A lot of different personalities, and uh, I guess throughout time it's definitely coming closer. I didn't think it was going to be as close as a team this year, and it's proving me wrong. Nothing wrong on the women's side. Iowa Western is led by returning natty champ, Yorissa Gallo at 191. Last year, I think in the first semester, we had one girl place at an open. Uh, every competition we've gone to, we've had five, six, seven girls placing at the open tournament. So we've made uh, a big jump. We don't talk about the end goal at all. We just try to maximize each day, and uh, as long as the women's team keeps doing that, we'll, we'll be where we need to be. Everyone has been outperforming um, NAI and D2 schools. We've been placing higher than most of those schools, and some of us have been placing in the top three. And it's just amazing to see how far our program has gone. The top five Iowa Western men's and women's wrestling programs continue to climb. And the goal? Better than that, the Natty.